Hi, welcome to my first vlog. Um, the first thing we're actually going to do on this vlog is how to tune your ozone foil kites um, properly. I mean, most of you know how to zero your speed system, but that's actually just one thing. As your kites get older, typically above the 60 hour plus range, your bridles are actually shrinking. Um, and there is a way that we use to measure the speed system, including the bridle, to reset the kite to more or less factory setting. Uh, the first thing you're going to have to do is go online and look up the bridle check uh, PDF for your kite. Um, you'll find that on the Ozone website, but I'll put it down in the descriptions um, for you. I'll put a link for each foil kite. Once you have that, um, once you have that uh, bridle diagram open, you'll see a chart with all the bridle lengths for all the kites. The important ones you're looking at are A1, B1, and C1. Um, all the other lines that are attached to that between the speed system and the A1, B1, and C1 lines are all the same lengths. So we're only going to concern ourselves with the difference between A1 and B1 and A1 and C1. Right. I've already done that and I've got my little list here for my kites of uh, the differences from A to B to C. I don't know if you can see that. Ignore um, setting the speed system to zero because I'm just going to be tuning the entire system, the entire bridle. So first thing I need is my ground stake. And what else we're going to need? We are going to need something to measure with. Ruler or got this little measuring tape thing here. Now I'm going to stake the bridle together. Look at just above the pigtails. I'm going to put this through here like that, through here, that's my A and B, and C pulley line. Now walk diagonally to your kite until you see that your speed system, your riser lines, your main lines, and your A1 line make one straight line. Shouldn't look like this, I'm trying to get one straight line to the attachment point on the kite. Okay. All right. Whoop. I'm gonna stake that down tightly. So I'm gonna pull on it a little bit. Okay. All right. We're gonna measure now. So I'm gonna make sure you have. The actual A line, that's the one closest to the middle. Alright. Got A, B, and C down here. First, I'm just going to line up A and B next to each other. Like that. That's up on your phone. Okay. A and B, I'm just going to measure that. I'm going to check my little reference chart here. That should be. 19 millimeters, so more or less two centimeters. Okay. So I'm just gonna line that up. And if you look at that, that is more like four centimeters. Yeah. So what I'm going to have to do is lengthen B by about two centimeters. Okay. Now I'm going to check C. Okay. My little chart says C 
see should be 73 centimeters um, longer than A. And it is not. Okay, if you look at that, it's only about two and a half centimeters longer than that by almost 5 cm. Okay? So, B is about 2 cm too short, and C is about 5 cm too short. Okay? Piece of line. Okay. You say you needed yeah, about 5 cm. Seven. Better always double check. But like 2 cm and need to be 73. So yeah, we need about 5 cm. And it's a bit too much. Okay, there we go, 1 5 cm. Now we have our pigtails. Let's go take apart our speed system. So, make sure your speed system is clear, and now we're going to take it apart. It's always easier taking it apart from the front. So, I'll just undo the pigtail. If you're doing it in sand like I'm doing, don't lose the pigtails. Okay, we'll just pull that out of here. Try to keep it all clean so when you put it back together again, nothing's twisted. Okay, I'm going to take apart the front. Okay, so now we've got C pulley and B pulley. We'll start with the B pulley. That one's the easiest one to do. We're just gonna do it, loosen it here. Now, this is where a lot of people can't figure out how to get the pulley off. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open the lark set, you're gonna push the pulley through the big loop on its own line. It doesn't work the other way around. Okay, so see it's open now. I'm not going to take it straight off. I'm going to take my, my 2cm pigtail and I'm going to attach that to my to my bees. Okay. Okay, nice and tight. And again, this is how you reattach your pulley. Shove that through there. It's only two sam, so it's a bit tight fit. That over. Okay, and there you go, that's attached. I'm going to do the same with the C. Okay, once again, loosen the lark's head. Now, this is where you want to push the actual line through here. And push the pulley through. And I'm going to take my 5 cm. Same thing that we did on the other side.
Okay, this extension's on. Now here's the kicker. Um, not sure which line is which anymore, but if you look at the line that has the wear, that's the one where the pulley is going to go through. That's where we don't want to be attaching lines to. You want to have the nice and clean one, which you can see has no running on it. Okay, so again, you stick it through. Okay, I've extended that, we're just going to rebuild the system. So, B pulley line through B pulley. Okay. That attaches to your A. Your A extender here goes through there. Okay. And then C pulley line. C, so she's C pulley and hopefully you haven't lost your pigtail, your front pigtail. Attach that. Okay. Now you're obviously going to repeat that on the other side. Um, I'm not going to waste time by filming that. What we're going to do now is just recheck the bridle. Okay. Again, reattach. Stake it down. Grab a ruler. And double check what it's supposed to be. So B is about 2 cm, 2 cm longer and C is, well so B is supposed to be a 2 cm and C is supposed to be at minus 73. So I'm going to start with with C, because that's the more complicated one. You can see it's already longer. Yeah. Uh, we've probably, no, that's about right. It's about 7.3 7 cm more or less. I'll be happy with that. Now we'll check B. B should be at 19 millimeters, which is essentially 2 cm. Yeah, I can live with that. Now, next thing we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to extend the, the brakes by the length that we extended C. So, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna grab a pen. So I'm going to go to my brakes. We're going to have to. These are my brakes. So we're going to have to extend it by 5 cm. Why? Because we've extended C by 5 cm, and now my Z or my brake is going to be too short. So my current distance should be somewhere on 15. If I remember correctly. It was to be a measure from the bottom of the pigtail. Yeah, it's at. Uh, it's at 11 and what I want to be at plus 5 we want to be at 16 so I'm gonna pull it up there and I'm just mark 16 here I'm gonna have to remeasure anyway later I'm just gonna remove the 
break for a sec just to. Alright, we'll let the German tourists get out of the way and stop speaking. Yeah, sailing shoes. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna have to open this knot. The knot's been on here for a while, it's good to take a little bit. Okay, yay, knot opened. I'm going to find my little mark that's there, slide the knot up. Right, I'm just going to quickly remeasure. Remember, I want to be at 16. Oh, where am I at now? It's a bit too far. That's. Uh, actually, no, it's okay. Bottom of the knot, 16. Let's go a little bit shorter. That should be okay. And now that's uh, pretty much it. Now the kite should fly pretty much as new. Um, obviously, this will not solve your problems if your kite has got some stretching or asymmetrical problems with the bridles because you've had a hard crash with somebody entangled and had the line stretched with there. It's always good to then um, measure your entire bridle system or just replace it if your kite's still flying weird after you do like a full check like this. I uh, hope this helps you guys and I hope uh, your kite flies good after this. See you next week.